All right, folks, back again. Old boy in Georgia guitars and more. Part two. We're gonna finish up this. Uh, finish up this Telecaster and uh, get it. Get this done. Uh, part one. We kind of done the once over what it needed. Got started on it. Uh, you know. Uh, go back and look at that first video if you hadn't seen it. Because I can't explain everything we've done quickly enough in this video. So we're, we're starting. We had issues with the neck pocket as far as the shim, having two shims in there made it too tall. But we had trouble with these uh, small screws wanting to strip out. So what I've done is found some regular full-size screws that I ground the ends off to make them the same length because this tip doesn't matter. We've already got the pre-drill holes. This doesn't matter, but it's not so much bigger that I'm going to have to drill another hole. So I'm going to be able just to, to change these out and, uh, you know, use an existing hole. It'll just be a little bit tighter. So we're going to, we're going to do that. We're going to remedy this problem with the stripped out, uh, with the stripped out neck pocket screws, because we can't have that. So that's what I'm going to get these in, and we're going to be a whole lot better off. We have something to actually grab hold and and keep the neck good and tight. Otherwise, I would have had to drill the neck, put dowels in, then re-drill the holes. But this is going to work out perfect. So uh, that's going to that's going to do going to do great. So I'll go ahead and change these other three, and that that problem will be solved. Okay. <clears throat> got these got the bigger screws in I mean just lucky I had them laying around always keep that stuff because it comes in very handy so now we got the bigger screws in the in the neck I mean it's on there good and stout and it, there's no weakness to it um, just not not too impressed with these little bitty small screws for the neck plate but either way there you go we we had a problem we got it took care of and we're it's better than it was before so that's what i'm trying to go for is always improving improving something and uh so that's got that uh we're gonna have to set in now and do our uh our string height, and we know it's way, way too high from the last video. And I'm already starting to lose stuff already, what I'm needing. Where is it? Okay, here it is. All right, everything goes fine to the camera, goes on, and then it all goes, it all goes bad. Stuff disappears right then and there. Okay, we're 3.25 millimeters. So we got to come way, way down with this thing. Way down. I know I sounded a little bit negative in that first video about these guitars, and I didn't mean to come off that way. It's just that when you fool with them all the time, you start to see a lot of uh, a 
lot of patterns and you see a lot of uh, shoddy workmanship and all, but that's not the case with every guitar. I mean, you get a lot of guitars. I guess what I'm saying is uh, the doctor don't the doctor don't see a lot of healthy people. A, a doctor don't see a lot of people that's that's healthy. The doctor sees sick people. I guess when you work on guitars, you you see the sick ones. You don't see the healthy ones. So uh, we're gonna. I'm starting to get this thing. I'm gonna check it. If this thing's got a nine and a half inch radius fretboard, so if anybody's curious about that nine and a half inch radius, what I'm gonna do is set the height on the our uh, low E string, and then on the high E string, I'll set the height. Then I use this radius gauge, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing or not with that. Let's see. Maybe so. Okay, we're going to use this radius gauge to set the radius of the strings at the bridge the same as the radius on the neck. We'll do that. But first, I want to set, you know, both of the E strings, as, and that'll give us a base, you know, to go off of to, to set these other strings to the right height. So... That's basically what I'm going to do on that. And then we'll get into the pickup height and and check the nut height, you know, the level at the first fret to see how that turns out. All right, I got the, the high E string at one and a half millimeters. I got the top E string at just a little over two millimeters. And then that's with no... No fret buzz, none of that. So you can see maybe just how much farther these came down based on, you know, based on this. So that's 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 way down there from where, as high as these saddles were, they were actually gonna, so it would almost be walking around up that high. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my radius gauge and come in and bring these strings down till they touch the top of that radius gauge. So that's that's going to be that's what I'm going to be doing next. So I'm not going to. I mean, it's going to be boring just setting me watching me turn these and trying to see with my old eyes. So once I get that done, we'll come back and we'll be ready for intonation. Okay, we're about to get it. <clears throat> what I saved you from was a lot of boredom. But when I get down close to uh, getting them, getting the radius, something I do is I get my radius gauge on here where I want it. And then, you know, I lift up a little bit on it, make sure it's tight. But then that string's ringing clear. That one's ringing clear. Now I'm like, okay. You hear that? How it dead? It's against that. That tells me this one's not quite down far enough. It's got to come down just a little bit more to where it, the radius gauge will kind of mute it. <laughs> You can hear, maybe you can hear that. So that's that's got them set the nine and a half inch radius. So I don't know if all these are the same. A lot of different variations to to a lot of different of the same model guitar. But that this particular one, the Affinity Tele, is this particular one's a nine and a half inch radius. Uh, as far as the year model on this thing, I'm guessing it's a 2018 is from the serial number, the best I can, you know, remember that that's where that would be. Okay. We got the, the string height set, man, that's, that's so much better. That's unreal. I mean, 
these things are still, but this is something, this guitar is going to be a mod platform. Uh, you know, I may put a Bigsby on it. I mean, that makes perfect sense, don't it, to put a $180 Bigsby unit on a $100 guitar? I mean, and that makes all kinds of sense to me. But uh, if nothing else, we, you know, we may change this bridge. Definitely going to change these saddles because they're they're pretty low quality. And that's understandable. I, don't, it, don't take me wrong in the stuff I've said. I don't, I'm not down in all these guitars. If you pay less than 150 or a hundred or two hundred dollars for a guitar, you don't expect brass or titanium saddles. You don't expect, you know, Lawler pickups or or whatever stainless steel frets. You don't expect that. What's what's fun is to take these guitars and make them a lot better. That's what that's what's fun. That's what we do it for. And if you want a good play, and I'm thinking this thing's shaping up to be to be a sweet playing little guitar. So I'm I'm getting excited now because it's it's starting to really shape up. Okay, now we have our intonation that we need to work on. Uh, as you can tell, the saddles are pretty well just straight across, which tells me they're nowhere near they're nowhere near where they need to be. Uh, yeah, that's sharp. Okay, when it's sharp, you move your saddle toward the bottom of the guitar. You move it farther away. You make the string longer. If it's flat, you shorten it up. Make the string shorter. So, I'm going to go through and do all that because it's going to be sitting here doing a lot of do, 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 this, that, and the other. Just about like watching paint dry, but that's how you do it. Get your, uh, get your tuner. Get tuned to the, you know, your standard tuning and Check it. It's a twelve fret, and you, if you know if it's if it's above E, it's sharp. If it's below E, it's flat. Lengthen it, shorten it. You know if it's sharp, go long. If it's short, go short. So or, or flat, go short. So let me let me do that. All right, we finally got the string height, got the intonation. You can see how they were all in line before now they're slightly out of line but they all had to come back a good bit because every string was every string was sharp so that's got the string height that's got everything okay now we're going to look at our pickup height and it looks okay just to look at it but i'm not big on setting the height by a certain you know, quarter inch, eighth inch, whatever. I prefer to play it and listen to it and set the pickups accordingly because every pickup's different. I'm sure these are ceramic pickups. They're probably not going to want to be up there too close. I don't know how hot they are. I don't know what, they, uh, what the output is. That's something we could check real quick, I guess, and just just see what they are. Okay, <clears throat> got the meter set up. According to it, we've got 3.67 on the bridge, which really surprises me. I would have thought it would have been a lot more than that. And a 4.17 on the, on the neck pickup. And that, that, that really surprises me. Of course, both of them together, 1.97. 3.67 is what this and this bridge, what the bridge is showing. And I mean, I'm kind of checking my connections to make sure everything's, everything's right. But that's 417, 367. So that's the DC resistance on these pickups. So I say that we unhook from here and, uh, Let's go hook this thing to an amp and see what it sounds like. 
All right, we'll see what this thing sounds like. <clears throat> like I say, we're listening to what it sounds like, not what I sound like playing. So, you know, we got everything pretty well set up on it, so we're going to see, you know, it being where it should be, what it's going to be like. So. <laughs> sounds pretty good and I actually kind of like where it's set. Now the neck pickup, we'll see what it sounds like. So it sounds pretty, pretty nice. So, you know, here's them, both of them together. with this phone that's what I'm recording with so that's uh that's pretty much everything on this two-part video uh, you know if you missed the first part it go back and watch it if you're interested this kind of just shows how to set this thing up how it came and it you know the only thing that I could actually see once it was set up that I actually see wrong with it is the low or the high E string, the bottom E string is so close to the edge of the neck that it's trying to slip over the edge. And there's a lot more room up here. Now if I if I change the nut out on this thing, that you know I can I can probably change that a little bit if I you know cut another nut. But that's the only the only thing I see wrong with it, other than that, I mean, great, it's a great guitar for the money. It plays nice. It just needed an intensive setup. And I'm not sure that, you know, I'm not saying that every guitar you get will uh, require that much work. This one did. Uh, but it's not beyond, you know, it wasn't beyond being fixed. So that's a, that's a good thing. So now that I own it, like I say, I'm going to probably modify it a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what. And we may change the bridge saddles. I may actually do a Bigsby deal on it if I can find the, the right kind of deal. Because this guitar for this point, I don't know how much, you know, I want to put into that. But, you know, we can always change the tuners. The tuners actually hold tune good, work good, smooth. They have no problem with that. So, anyway, uh... No, I'll keep saying next video gonna have to be repair work gonna have to be I'm behind so bad and I'm some of it I'm not even gonna get to put on camera because I've just got to get it done so uh, if you haven't subscribed I'd appreciate you considering subscribing and uh, you know give me a thumbs up if you thought it was decent thumbs down if you didn't appreciate all you guys that subscribed I kind of got stuck right here about the two 235, 240, I need to need to get up there a little bit more. So, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, you know, be great if you would. So until the next time, see you.